The leaks were fake. But Huggy Wuggy's role in Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime is still put together early for us. Let me explain. So originally we were given what were said to be leaks of Huggy Wuggy depicted in Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime as he's been the main mystery character that was never confirmed to be actually making an appearance or not. Is he actually coming back? He pops up for a brief moment in the original gameplay trailer for the chapter, but he's shown here to be strangely different in appearance to how we saw the character in chapter 1, as well as the fact that he only pops up on a television screen, not as an actual Roman character telling us we need to put together the truth here. And originally our truth on the situation connected to the alleged leaks we were given early for Huggy Wuggy's appearance. The post read, an image from chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime has been leaked, with a crazy depiction of Huggy being an actual character matching the same appearance shown to us already in the trailer, but there was just one problem. Despite the original poster's assurance that what we were looking at here was 100% legit, this leak was a fake. It was a fan-made version made by the talented YouTuber Shotly Poppy, but that's where the story gets interesting. That's where we finally got the truth. It turns out following the confusion, developers actually stepped up into the situation to give us more of the full story after all. The people that obviously know everything about Huggy's true involvement. After this fan-made depiction began to spread, some of the mob entertainment team members began to take notice. While it was shown to us as just a concept at first, we're given more of an idea of what to potentially expect after their comments. Oh. And yeah, small update, but for some reason, Amber, one of the employees behind the project mainly credited with creating the Smiling Critters, cannot say why the fan-made vid with Huggy Wuggy's character is interesting, but something about it stood out here in some way. Damn, this is starting to become interesting, with the second picture connecting to the same exact fan-made vid in question. And Amber's response to the situation ended up again bringing up the NDA, non-disclosure agreement, meaning whatever exclusive information could potentially be tied to this fan-made video, she obviously wouldn't be allowed to tell us. That is, until we start to put it together early. We know something about its involvement in the actual game is supposed to be interesting, as we're told. And still waiting for a concrete confirmation of Huggy being involved, it turns out more information came out to tell us everything we're meant to actually be expecting in terms of the character, the answers we've been waiting for. We start to mark the strong likelihood of Huggy's return in Chapter 3 based on what developers additionally ended up revealing early. Specifically, a fan asked someone working on the game, what does Huggy do in his free time? Will that be answered? To which we see a really interesting response of, he's dead. oh. As if he's referring to the long fall, almost marking Huggy's end in chapter one, only for him to end up coming back in some way after all. Which brings up an even more important question about his role here. If Huggy's meant to be involved in some way, why does he actually look like this? And connecting to his big return, it turns out we have key information that tells us exactly that. New speculation connecting to all the early teasers for the character that could very well lay out a secret story for Huggy that tells us what actually ended up happening to him. First, Huggy Wuggy had the Great Fall in Chapter 1, as theorists confirm, at the beginning of the Chapter 2 trailer, we see a Huggy Wuggy doll knocked to the ground exactly like what we saw actually happen to the character. The doll seems to be potentially marking out the actual events Huggy Wuggy himself experiences behind the scenes. Meaning next, we see the Huggy doll dragged into an entirely new area as he's still shown to be on the ground in the original teaser trailer for Chapter 3. Matching up with the fact Mommy Longleg's arm was shown dragging him away in the previous teaser. This time we see that he was brutally attacked by Catnap next with claw marks running all along the character. But as theorists put together the idea of Huggy Wuggy potentially having less teeth in his next appearance, what we see in the television screen in the chapter 3 teaser, it would make perfect sense that he'd end up changing in this sort of way following a brutal encounter with Catnap. While there isn't a clear answer to how these changes occurred, it would definitely make sense that the cause of what we ended up seeing here is due to Catnap in the first place. 
why he looks different now. But in other news, we need to cover the most important element of this entire upcoming game. In terms of what we're told for the actual release date of the chapter, we have a new update to the situation that tells us more about what we should actually be expecting. When is this thing finally coming out? More specifically, we were told originally that based on the past release dates of previous projects released by Mob Entertainment, that we'd be meant to look out for the full game's release near the 22nd of January. Backed up by news accounts covering the situation as well as what the general fanbase seems to think about the second gameplay trailer coming right before it. The fact that we'd still be expecting this new gameplay trailer before the physical game, as it's already been locked in going along with everything developers had originally told us. So this anticipated 22nd of January release for Chapter 3 was due to the fact that the 12th of this same month, 10 days earlier, was set to be the actual anticipated date most likely revealing our second gameplay trailer after all. We know it was already set to come out sometime this month based on our earlier developer comments and everything considered, this would match up with the idea that Mob Entertainment themselves have a weird thing with the 12th of certain months. They tend to drop a lot of strange information in projects around this day, as even the Twitter account recently made a suspicious post possibly connecting to this very topic. A depiction of the first gameplay trailer with good old dog day front and center telling us have a good day or else with no follow-up information towards what this was meant to tell us. What does this post mean? As many fans link this possibility to the next trailer we've all been waiting for, only for no new updates to take place on the day of the post. But the story doesn't end there. Piecing together what we know, just so happens that this mysterious post popped up on the Mob Entertainment account exactly one week before the 12th of this month. Call it a stretch if you want, but the fact there's already so much evidence pointing to a pattern with previous releases could be enough to tell us that this post could be the confirmation we've been waiting for. The gameplay trailer coming out on the 12th, that is. And having this trailer release date in mind originally would place the release of the game itself likely around 10 days later, which is why we had arrived at the 22nd of January for our release date we were most likely going to be looking at. But our big update gives us more of a confirmation on this date as well. The fact the Steam page for the third chapter originally had the linked release of Winter 2023 before the delay shown on the page, with no additional information to be found, cluing us into when this updated release date would actually be. But as of more recently, the Winter 2023 pop-up is nowhere to be found on the page with the coming soon label still being slapped onto this thing. The only problem in this case being the fact that many games shown on Steam have the same coming soon label for several years until they actually come out. It's meant to simply be the Steam default when devs don't update, which starts to put together the possibility that after this second gameplay trailer, we may have a longer wait between then and the actual game's release. Despite what news pages on the game franchise have told us, we know in the case of the previous chapter of Poppy Playtime at least, that the initial gameplay trailer was made actual months before the game was finally ready. As the trailer was launched on February 22nd, with the full game being added later on in May. Throwing all this together with the fact that Mob Entertainment Office just had a long break for the holiday season recently, it may end up being longer of a wait than we originally thought. But I put everything else we're told about the upcoming game early in this video right here. I specifically were clued into more about the Smiling Critter's role in everything. So for what we know on the situation, make sure to check it out.